Floor 7 is the hardest non-master mode dungeon floor and people get confused. They don't know what to do and that's why I'm here. I'm here to give you the ultimate guide to Floor 7 gaming. Just before we get into it, I just want to say, if you do like the, the content that you, you are watching, make sure to like and subscribe, join my Discord server, link in the description. And that's basically it, let's get, let's get straight into the video. So, before I start, there's just a few things that you will need to have. You will definitely need to have a Bonzo Mask of some sort. A Spirit Mask also works as well. Uh, preferably you have both. However, Bonzo Mask is a lot cheaper. It's only 1.2 mil, contrasting to the tens of millions the spirit mask costs. You want a Jerry Sheen gun for crystals and general moving around the dungeon. I will have more explanation on the crystals and the movement later on. Same goes for the Bonzo staff. You want this for getting crystals and to be able to maneuver yourself and move around the floor 7 boss fight. Because there is this little thing called the magical force that stops you from using teleportation abilities such as the aspect of the void the hyperion and the aspect of the end next you would need a wither cloak sword to negate any damage for example the lava and the lightning when you get under the pillars or if you don't make it to the pillars and finally in case you get stuck in the terminal phase you will need a good amount of spirit leaps now these are insanely cheap they're on the bazaar there are only a few thousand coins per 16. It's not that big of an issue. It's really, really cheap. Those are just the accessory things. I'm not going to go over the armor or the weapons, anything like that, because I've already done a guide on that. If you want your class, then uh, and you can go to my channel and have a little look. Dungeon guides that I've done. Okay, so now we've gone over all of the accessory we need. So let's get on to the first phase of the boss fight. Okay, so there are two ways to get up onto the pillars one is the Jerry Sheen gun, which I'm going to show right here. And two is the Bonzo Staff, which I'll show right here. So the first method you saw was the Jerry Sheen gun, where you go into the corner of the pillar and you just look at the floor and Jerry Sheen gun all your way up until you reach to the crystal level. Grab the crystal and place it down on its pedestal. Now the second method is the each is the easiest method, and that is to with a cloak just before you hit the lava, and that will shoot you up to the top of the pipe. Then you accurately bonzo staff your way by boosting yourself all the way to the crystal platform and then place your crystal down on the pedestal. Now, moving on to the second phase of the floor seven boss fight, you'll drop down into this extra arena where there are a lot of wither skeletons that are called wither miners. Now, in this phase, before the lightning strikes, you wanna kill as many wither skeletons as possible, just because they can be really annoying when trying to crush Storm, which you'll see in just a second. And they also deal a decent amount of damage if you're not high cata. You want to clear these pads out because that is where you're going to be able to crush Storm. If you stand on the pads, the pillar will go down. And if Storm is underneath it, it will crush it. Now that timer was for lightning. And lightning will strike down when the timer hits zero. Which means if you're not under a pillar, you will die. Here you can see us crushing Storm. And he gets crushed. Then you can deal damage to him, and the same happens here on yellow. He's underneath the pillar, so someone needs to go over to the pad and step on the yellow glass and terracotta. The pillar will drop down, and he will get crushed. Now, moving on to stage number three. So, for the third phase of the boss fight, you will drop down on this red crush pad, and you will be met with a whole bunch of terminals. Now this is where the Bonzo Staff and Jerry Sheen Gun really come into action because you can move around very, very fast. Now, these are terminals. You have to right click on them where they say inactive terminal, terminal, click here. You open it up. There's like a mini game that you have to complete. There's three different colors. There's melody and there's the devices. And there's also the 
red and green switches. Now this this is one of the devices where you got this pillar and you can flick all these levers to turn these lights on and then that completes the device completely. You can see here another terminal has the green things that you need to complete and once all terminals in that section are completed you need to flick two levers at the end and that will open up the gate for you to continue. Now don't think that you can take your time on this one because as you're doing these puzzles there is Goldor chasing you. Now Goldor is another boss that is supposed to be the tankiest of them all but I argue that he dies the fastest. Pretty ironic right? Here's another device called uh, arrows. You need to align the arrows in a certain pattern and once you do that the gate will open. Here is the last section of the terminals. You have the arrow puzzle here, which is you have to shoot the emerald blocks until all nine blocks have been shot. And then the golden door will, en will open, and this is called the core entrance. Or it's just called the core, but it says core entrance is opening, so it doesn't really matter. And then everyone needs to get inside of the core and you need to kill Goldor as he slowly approaches the end. If he reaches the end, you will, you will fail the run. That will be sleep sleep. Once you kill Goldor, you will be brought down automatically into his final arena with this guy called Necron. Now Necron is the most iconic wither of all in Floor 7. He's just the guy. He's you know, he, he, he's wrote the history books. And you basically just do as much damage as you can. Die. The only thing you need to keep aware of is when he's in the center, you will see fire particles. If you go inside of that circle, you will die. Unless you have a tank, it does hella damage. And it's true damage, it's percentage. You can't really, uh, yeah, you can't really tank it. And there you have it. You've completed the run. You can check through all your chests, get the profit, get the precursor uh, armor. Was it called precursor gear? And that is it. I hope you enjoyed today's guide. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe because this video took forever to make, especially the intro. It took like 7 billion years, so it would really mean a lot if you could like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye. is very what? committed to Okay